Although at the time of recording this series, there isn't full support for all of these elements and they're not fully standardized across all browsers, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use them. Using them now doesn't harm older browsers because they'll simply fall back to a standard text field. And as long as you've properly labeled your form elements, the user should know what to enter. Of course, there might be times when this could harm the user experience, particularly with the more complex date or time input types, since the user will have to know what formats required for the date that they need to enter. For these more complex entry points, you could fall back to jQuery UI, use another library, or detect support and give clear instructions for the date or time format that needs to be entered. As browsers get better at implementing each of these new input types, you'll naturally see improvements in the way your users can enter data across all devices. Now it's important to remember that just because certain types will validate data like the email input type, you should always be checking everything properly on the back end. You should never rely on any front end validation alone to ensure the data being entered into a form is correct.